Hello, welcome back to another what I eat in a day video showing you everything that I eat in a day uh, and the way I operate is I try to find balance so I do track my calories because that is how I've been able to lose weight over the past couple of years I've done it a little bit slower than the average person on YouTube but hi Nuggie that's my Siamese cat she's not in distress she's just Siamese Who over here looking for snakes? But yeah, I'm I'm more about progress, making changes mentally and physically, because obviously I gained weight for a reason and I was overeating for a reason, and that was a learned behavior, so I need to unlearn that. And for me, taking on any kind of particular diet once that diet ends is not going to teach me how I actually need to eat. And there's a big, huge movement of intuitive eating, but if you're an overeater, my body's like, eat all the food all day, eat till you're sick. So I can't listen to my body necessarily, so that's why I need to track. I don't feel overwhelmed by it. I'm not obsessed with it. Some days I go over, some days I go under. Some people would call it calorie cycling, so during the week I'll eat you know, a little bit less. On the weekends it might be a little bit more, or during the week it may be a little bit more, but in the end it all kind of evens out to be um, a caloric deficit. And sometimes it's over calories, you know, that it is what it is. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, people really frown upon counting calories and stuff, and you know, I think that as long as you don't have any major issues and you're not, you know, weighing out a grain of rice, for me it's like I want to know how much I should be eating in a day. Portion sizes, like there's all these videos now about, oh I ate the recommended portion size for a day. That's basically what I do every single day and it's shocking when you weigh out oatmeal or cheese and you're like, oh damn, you know, so it, it gives me some peace of mind just to know that you know, it's not rocket science. If, I, if I'm if i eating less and I'm moving more, I should see results. And if I'm not, then I know what I ate and how I moved and I can reevaluate. So yesterday I actually went to my first spin class in a long time and my appetite today is, whew, I am hungry. So I actually had a coffee this morning. I had the hazelnut and espresso with some chocolate premier protein in it. It makes it like a Ferrero Rocher coffee. And then I had a forever nut latte from David's Tea that I made at home. You would have seen that in my most recent What I Ate Today. Um, but because I exercised yesterday and I did eat not like less calories, but I didn't eat more because I exercised. I feel like I'm definitely hungry today, so I'm having a carb heavy imitation McDonald's breakfast this morning. This is not going to be nutritionally dense, it's gonna be carb heavy, not that high protein, but she's delicious, and sometimes that's what you gotta go with, you know? So I was actually thinking about for this video making my own hash, hash browns, but I was like, you know what, these are what actually taste good, and these are what I have been eating every so often. And because I don't eat breakfast anymore, breakfast food is like so delicious to me. So I'm having these Cavendish hash brown patties. I'm having two of them. They're 120 calories each. In the air fryer, no added oil or anything. They've been in there for about nine minutes. And then I'm gonna add in my breakfast sausage. And that's that. These are from Gardein. I really love these. This is the maple flavor. So it's kind of like a wannabe, uh, what's it called, McGriddle. And I like these because they're easy, they're lower in calories. I have been trying to be more mindful of the amount of meat I consume, and these are great. So these are gonna go back in. Let's see, six minutes should be fine. Then I'm gonna put it on a whole wheat English muffin with some light cheese, a little bit of this zero calorie pancake syrup. And obviously I have to dip my hash browns in some sugar-free ketchup and then I've got some clementines as well. So, oh, and I'm microwaving an egg in a little ramekin because I find that gives a more McDonald's-y vibe than just a fried egg. Okay, time to assemble. I've got my English muffin here. Like I said, I microwaved an egg, which you might be like, what? But that gives like McDonald's vibes. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this pancake syrup on the bun because if you've ever had a McGriddle from McDonald's they put like pink it's like kind of pancakes just a smidge I buy this on low carb Canada where you I've seen it at Metro here in Toronto as well and just to continue speaking on the intuitive eating like if you can intuitively eat that is amazing um, and I encourage you to do so but for me I'm like I need to learn how to eat before I can do it intuitively because I I don't know I didn't get that gene and then uh, my two hash browns. 
When I go to McDonald's, I always get an extra hash brown. They're like, do you know what comes with a hash brown, right? I'm like, obviously, I want an extra one. Um, but yeah, so excited to eat this. So I'm gonna have some of this kombucha. I know, I know. Uh, I started drinking it because uh, the brand Rise had sent me some and then I was like this is kind of interesting I've been testing out different ones I've tried Rise I've tried the Synergy I've tried this one Kavita uh, this is probably the least kombucha y that I've tried of any brand and there can be a lot of benefits to your gut uh, like your gut health which everybody loves talking about I'm like I don't really get the whole gut health thing like how do I know if my gut is not right I don't know <laughs> Um, but then also I saw people said it could be good for your skin, but then other people say it's no good for your skin. It will break you out. Other people say it doesn't do anything because the probiotics are dead. Some people said I drink a whole bottle. Other people said only drink one like shot glass of it. So like anything, there's a million different thoughts on, you know, uh, whether it's good or not. But what I have liked it for is just like a sipping on it through the afternoon distracting me from food and a whole bottle is about 60 calories i think and some of them have less sugar some of them have more sugar and you know that i drink a lot of coke zero and i find i haven't been reaching for coke zero while i don't think there's anything wrong with like a little one of those i've just been testing this out so i mean i don't think that any of the like really popular health trends uh, like they can be very overpriced and just kind of whatever and there's other good options out there that are more affordable and like less exciting but I don't know I just I always like to try different things out and I have been enjoying this and at the very least the placebo effect makes me feel healthy so <laughs> yeah I'm gonna have some of this that was very long-winded but anyways okay so I'm gonna have a smoothie as kind of like an evening snack I don't anticipate a lot of fruits and vegetables in <laughs> my food today so I figured um, I would have this so I've got some baby spinach in there a mini banana I was talking about this in my last what I eat in a day uh, they're great if you normally don't eat a full banana because you don't need to like have a banana going bad in the fridge then I've got this fruit blend with um, mango peach strawberries and pineapples some blueberries keep in mind like everyone loves like acai and stuff but blueberries are very very good for you too and um, much more affordable and then I did put in about a half a scoop of protein powder just because this has got some greens in it as well and a little bit of protein because again I don't anticipate a lot of protein today it's mostly a carb day which is fine you know some days are some days aren't but most days are let's be honest but yeah so I'm gonna just uh, blend this up and have a smoothie Okay, so it's actually been a couple of days. Uh, the day I was filming this, I didn't feel very well in the evening, so I ended up just having like soup and crackers in the night, and what I was planning on having was a pizza. So I figured it's it's actually lunchtime now, a couple days later, but I show, figured I would show you the pizza. I did a low calorie pizza uh, video a little while back using these Joseph's Lavash bread. Here in Canada, I get them from Low Carb Canada. I think in the States you can find them at Walmart, maybe other grocery stores. I've never seen them in stores, but this is the whole thing, like it's quite big. This is my hand and I've got fairly big hands. You can use it for like wraps and stuff, but the entire, like the serving size here is half a flatbread. I use the entire flatbread, so it's actually 120 calories, three grams of fat, um, 12 grams of protein, and fairly low carb as well. I'm, I'm not low carb, I just like that they're really big and good as a base for pizza. So I'm gonna have like a prosciutto tomato pizza, I guess, I don't know. Just what I have with some balsamic glaze on it. If you don't eat dairy, then this is not the pizza for you. <laughs> Um, but I've got some pizza mozzarella, which can be very, the, the best one actually is from the brand Saputo. This is the craft one, which is 80 calories a serving. Saputo is 70. Some prosciutto here, some light ricotta, and a vine tomato as the base. Instead of like an olive oil or a white sauce, I'm just going to put a little Greek yogurt. You can't even taste it, but just to have something there. Probably put some garlic salt on there too. And then when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to put this balsamic glaze on top of it and I think it's gonna be really really good so yeah I'm just gonna assemble this now So here is the finished pizza out of the oven. You can obviously customize to whatever you have. These are like some things I had in my fridge. Just adding some chili flakes there. 
and then like arugula would be really good on this and some of the balsamic glaze you can't track down these lavash breads uh, these are good too the flat out protein up carb down these are obviously smaller but 120 calories as well and i've used these for pizzas too and this actually fits in my air fryer so i'll make pizza in the air fryer but yeah here's the pizza and then on the side i made like a really sad basic strawberry spinach salad so literally spinach and strawberries a little bit of the balsamic glaze on there some pepper and just one spray of the chosen foods avocado oil. so yeah sorry it's a little bit all over the place but i didn't want to leave you hanging with just like soup and crackers and i'm so excited to have this for my lunch and like i said i, I did do a video on those pizzas before i just put it in the oven for about five minutes and then broiled it for about a minute and a half to get the edges crispy so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye